Hello everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how I'm styling my growing out curly hair. As some of you might have noticed, I'm growing out my hair from this style that I've loved for the last 10 years or so. But I'm definitely excited to try something brand new. This is my hair at its shortest. When I was young, I used to have long curly hair, but I've never had my hair longer, curly, and this silver gray color. I've only had my hair totally gray for the last four years. I want to see how my hair will look gray, curly, and longer. I'm really excited to check out all the great hair products that are especially formulated for curly hair. We didn't have the amazing curly hair products back then when my hair was long that we have now. It was the 70s and 80s and all there was was a crunchy mousse or gel that made your hair look permanently wet. I've been growing it out for about three months now and it's still short hair of course, but I've just decided to enjoy the journey and not to focus too much on how long it will get. If it wasn't for Mark of Raven Salon in New Jersey, hey Mark, who is helping me with the challenges of growing out my hair, I might have given up already. It's very important to have a good hairstylist to help keep your hair cut into a good shape while it's growing out. I'm going in for a trim about every six weeks now. I know that might seem counterproductive to some people, but if I just started to grow it out, my hair would have no shape to it and it would look like a mullet by now. No offense to anybody who loves a mullet. But all this hair by my neck would be down to here and it would look quite straggly and shapeless. So here's what I mean about enjoying the journey. You're going through all these different lengths. So why not make the most of each lens and try something new? You can put some new product in it, or you can straighten it, or you can keep it curly. Some styles may not work, but you're probably going to find something that you really love. So don't be afraid to play around and have some fun. After all, it's just a hairstyle and it will wash out if you don't like it. So let me show you how I've styled my hair today. Let's go. So this is just one way I've been styling my hair lately. I've been using the Diva Curl products um, as well as some others, but for this video I'll show you the Diva Curl products. Um, I've washed my hair with the Diva Curl shampoo and their conditioner. Um, they're a great product because they don't have any sulfates or parabens. They're very gentle on your hair and they don't strip out your natural oils. So this is um, a special towel. It doesn't frizz up your curly hair. And it's also very absorbent. It's very thin and absorbent. And so that's what I've been using lately. And my hair is just a little bit too dry. So I'm going to re-wet it using a spray bottle. Okay. And then I'm going to take some of the frizz-free volumizing mousse. So let's take a nice big dollop, like so. And I'm going to start with the back. Sometimes people forget the backs of their heads when they're doing their hair. <laughs> I must admit, I'm, I'm guilty of that too. It's important to um, concentrate on your frizzy bits. These are my little frizzy bits here. Um, I'm going to have to go in for a trim soon, I can see, because uh, around the neck tends to get a little bit frizzy. So I don't want that. It's important to keep the style nice as you're growing out your hair. So that's why I go for my regular trims. He doesn't take too much off every time. It's just keeping it in a nice shape as I go along. So. I am getting this mousse into the root and pulling it through my hair, bringing it forward. It's better to do a little bit at a time as opposed to one big dollop in your hand and then all over. I find that that distributes it more evenly. And then as you get to the front, make sure you like comb it through your hair, get to the roots. 
because sometimes I think people just go on the surface and then you kind of have this frizzy root problem going on. So you'll notice as I'm putting this mousse in, I'm kind of twisting my hair. So this is kind of, um, I, I'm starting to style my hair now, but I'm actually going to start from the back with that twisting motion. So um, you can also comb the product through a little bit, especially at the back. That helps distribute the product. Okay, so I'm going to start twisting my hair in an upward and outward way, giving it a little bit of a lift here. I have a weird cowlick right here. So that's one of my little bugaboos. That's something that I have to always be aware to look in, look at the back of my hair and make sure that's covered because it looks like I'm balding back there. So I'm going to keep twisting the back and now I'm working my way up to the top. It's just arranging your curls you're not fighting them too much now I'm going to add before I get too much into that I'm going to add a little bit of my diva curl styling cream um, this tends to keep the definite definition in a little better um, if I just did the mousse it would look nice initially, but then if it was windy out or if I kind of ran my hands through my hair, it would break up and then get a little fluffy. So this kind of stops that from happening. So I'm going to pull it through, mostly, mostly on the ends. I find that if I use the cream too close to the scalp, it starts parting too much. And again, I, I almost feel like it starts making me look like I'm balding. So if you do have thinning hair, the last thing you want is to put tons of defining product at the root of your hair because it parts it and it will accentuate that thinness too much. Okay, so let me just, I'm getting ahead of myself here without explaining what I'm doing. So I did the back here a little bit. Now I'm going to keep twisting this area in the crown. This is where most of us like to have some height. So do you see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of twisting it kind of the way it wants to go. You can coax your hair too to go to go into a style that it doesn't want to go, but it's much easier kind of just playing along with your hair. Your hair's the boss ultimately, let's face it. So do you see I'm just kind of twisting it like so. I'm going to comb this down so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Now at first this is going to look like one of those old-fashioned sets like when you just take your hair out of rollers or something but it's very important to let it dry while while it's in this these molded kind of curls you'll see why the more I go into it so you know the front's important so I'm going to focus on that a little bit more let's see what this wants to do ah you see that it wants to make that shape so we'll let it make that shape and this, now this is starting to come down a bit now, which looks kind of nice. See, that's the thing about your hair. Don't be too rigid in your thinking. When you have curls, you, you kind of have to go along with them to an extent. You're just encouraging them to go a certain way. So don't fight it too much. Now, as I told you before, these little frizzy bits on the side, these are my little uh, bugaboos here so I'm just kind kind of flattening them soon they're going to be a bit longer but my my hairstylist is kind of cutting my hair so right now it's this shape I think in a couple of months it will kind of be to here which will kind of be like uh, a Marilyn maybe like a Marilyn Monroe 
style, like a, a little retro. But that's what I mean by enjoying each step of the way as you're growing out your hair. Don't take it too serious, it's hair. So if you try this and it turns out, you know, not as nice as you would like, just uh, it washes out, it's easy enough. You can just try again or put a hat on. <laughs> This is how I'll, I'll leave it. If I haven't done my makeup yet, I'll do this first and then I'll get on with my makeup, maybe dress. And then you have the option to break up the curl a little bit if you want to. Now, if you have to get out of your house fast, then you can diffuse this. Um, I really like this diffuser, it's by Dry Bar. And the reason I like it is because it has vents in the tips. So you can put it right through to your root. So it's, your hair is not just getting dry on the surface, it's getting dry from the root. Or if you like, you can just hold it back. You don't want to disturb the curl too much. Um, ordinarily, my preference is to just let it air dry. And at this stage, because my hair is still short, uh, it dries quite fast really. Um, but just so you know how to use this, I'll give you a quick demonstration. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and maybe you picked up some tips, but before you go, I want to show you one more thing that you can do once your hair is in place and set and dried like this. Here goes. This is a one-shot deal. I might totally mess this up but hey it's only hair so I take a dollop of bumble and bumble wax it's called thickening cream contour I rub it between my fingers and distribute it over your hair I'm going to like demolish my hair now see what happens it just shows you that sometimes when when you have a good time with your hair something good might happen then again, maybe not. Sometimes I do this and I'm like, oh, what have I done? But hey, I think this is, this is looking good. Isn't this exciting? So those nasty frizzy bits again. Oh la la, I like this. Yep, I like this a lot. Okay, so that's another thing you can do. So this is Bumble and Bumble Cream Contour. I'll have all these products listed in the video description. So thanks again for stopping by my channel and when my hair's grown out a bit, we'll do something else fun. So see you then. Bye-bye.